Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way, exclusively, each and every Wednesday, only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all-time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code, follow on TikTok, and don't miss a second of Velocity. The events of the blue brand bleed into the green this week on Velocity. Axiom is set to go one-on-one -on -one with Imperium's Ludwig Kaiser. It was last month on SmackDown that Frazier and Axiom owned a tag team victory via countout over Imperium. This past Friday night, Giovanni Vinci doing one good for his unit with a victory over Nathan Frazier. Now, Axiom and Ludwig Kaiser take center stage live here on TikTok, here on Velocity. The issues continue to boil over between these two teams and who may be taking the next step towards some tag team championship opportunities on Friday Night SmackDown. We welcome you to another exciting week of Velocity as our 11th week here on TikTok. Action courtesy of Friday Night SmackDown. And Axiom already out of the gate doing what he does best, using his speed and his agility to his advantage. Remember Axiom and Nathan Frazier we're within inches of winning the WWE Tag Team titles just a couple of weeks ago at Battleground against Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. They, of course, were awarded that opportunity thanks to the victory they earned over Imperium last month on the blue brand, something that has not sat in very well with Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser. Hence the singles matches over the last week, first on SmackDown and now here on your Wednesday afternoon edition of Velocity. Ludwig Kaiser again trying to do one good for his trio. Giovanni Vinci at ringside, and I am sure the world heavyweight champion of the blue brand, Gunther, has got his eyes on his men in Imperium tonight. Ludwig Kaiser needs to ground Axiom, and that is a good way to do so. Take out the chest cavity, he may take out the breathing techniques of the always mysterious and yet always exciting Axiom. Try to take out the leg. Take out the high-flying abilities. Something that brought Axiom as well as Nathan Frazier to the dance. Of course, a very young unit on Friday Night SmackDown that really came together not too far in the past are those two cruiserweights. Imperium embarrassed by that loss a number of weeks ago on SmackDown, which is why they are trying to divide and conquer over the last week. Giovanni Vinci, of course, via the help of Ludwig Kaiser. Remember that exposed turnbuckle on SmackDown last week, but Giovanni Vinci nonetheless able to get the victory over Ethan Frazier. Can Kaiser continue that momentum? All remains to be seen right now. It is a mugging at ringside. Ludwig Kaiser is beaten down Axiom, and as we mentioned a few moments ago, grounding the ever-exciting high-flying competitor. Look at Axiom trying to create some distance and trying to get back into this matchup, sending Kaiser back between the ropes. Now Axiom, little springboard, little drop kick, using the ropes to his advantage that time. Huge maneuver to momentarily knock Kaiser off his feet. Can he get him there again? There you go. Axiom trying to bounce back after Nathan Frazier was defeated by Giovanni Vinci last week on SmackDown, trying to even the score in singles action tonight. Kaiser to the outside, and this is where Axiom can be most dangerous. Double boots right through those lime green ropes. Axiom showing why your Wednesday afternoon action here on TikTok is entitled Velocity. Kaiser under the ring, Axiom going for a springboard frog splash. Unfortunately, nobody home. They don't call it high risk, high reward for nothing. And now Ludwig Kaiser, uncharacteristically, heading to the top rope. Axiom crashed and burned moments ago. Kaiser better be careful he doesn't suffer the same fate. Right on the button with that drop kick. We we're talking about the action last week on SmackDown, but what is to come this Friday night? Of course, the King of the Ring tournament kicked off this past Monday night on Raw. The SmackDown side of the bracket opens up on Friday. 
You will see the Cruiserweight Champion J.D. McDonough taking on the returning American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. And speaking of returns, this Monday night, live at All-Star Raw, the best in the world, CM Punk runs it back with Shinsuke Nakamura. It's a WrestleMania rematch in the midst of the first round of the King of the Ring Tournament. That's coming up this Monday night on Raw. Axiom with a dodge and a shooting star press in between the ropes. Unfortunately, Ludwig Kaiser still into this contest. And you can't take your eyes off Axiom. You blink, you're gonna miss this man. A poison Rana may be getting Axiom. One step closer to the finish line. Submission hold locked in. Kaiser in deep, deep trouble here on Velocity. This is what he's gotta do. Go back to the basics. A couple bare knuckle shots to create the distance. And Ludwig Kaiser is using those high flying abilities that usually benefit Axiom to his disadvantage tonight. Oh no. Down goes Axiom and planted off the DDT. An Imperium singles record against Axiom and Nathan Fraser is to perfection. Well, Axiom and Nathan Frazier may have won a battle last month on SmackDown, but those two men in Imperium may have won. Wait a minute! What the hell? The almighty Bobby Lashley is here on Velocity, and he just speared Giovanni Vinci in half. What the hell is Lashley doing out here? Kaiser to the outside, and Lashley with a second spear on Giovanni Vinci. Last week on SmackDown, Guther said he's waiting for somebody to get his attention. Did the Almighty do just that? This past Monday on All-Star Raw, Bailey made her shocking return to the red brand. Tonight, she makes a return to the squared circle, and she's gonna have her hands full with Piper Niven representing this trio, Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville, and you gotta believe there's some bad mojo coming out of the locker room after their tag team loss this past Monday night. More on that momentarily, but thank you for joining us on your Wednesday edition of Velocity each and every Wednesday, exclusively here on TikTok. And here we go, Piper Niven in action. And as we mentioned, she has got to be fired up after Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville fell short to Liv Morgan and Bianca Belair this past Monday night on Raw. And of course, as Liv and Bianca were celebrating that victory, Bailey walking down the aisle momentarily and Looks like she gave a little bit of an eye to Liv Morgan. You gotta wonder what's going through the mind of Bailey. Outside of right now getting crushed by Piper Niven, but not necessarily calling her shot for the women's championship. Actually, the contrary, eyeing up the challengers in Liv and Bianca for King of the Ring in less than three weeks' time. Nonetheless, Bailey, of course, drafted the Monday Night Raw, part of the SmackDown brand. Last in the month of April, and now Bailey back in action tonight. Whatever is going through the mind of Bailey, whatever her MO is, it starts here on Velocity. And as we mentioned, she has got her hands full against the obviously stronger competitor in Piper Niven, all the way from Scotland. Of course, the Monday Night Raw Women's Division really heating up as of late, as we know, coming up at King of the Ring, Saturday night, June the 15th. Triple threat matchup for the WWE Women's title as Rhea Ripley defends the gold against Liv Morgan and Bianca Belair. Should be a hell of a triple threat matchup when we get to Smoothie King Center in New Orleans, Louisiana. Looking at Bailey and even looking at Piper Niven. These could be two women on the Monday Night Raw locker room who could be looking to step up and challenge the winner after King of the Ring. We also got ladies such as Cora Jade and Tiffany Stratton who over the last few months have been really been making some waves the Monday Night Raw Women's Division. Hell of a division to say the least, and everybody chomping for the same end goal, the women's title that is currently housed by Rhea Ripley. Piper Niven controlling the contest right now, uncharacteristically coming off the top, and Bailey delivering a strong shot right to the gut. Any means necessary to get back into this matchup. Talked to Bailey on WWE.com earlier today, read up the interview, and she said that she is really itching to get back into competition, but not if Piper Niven has got anything to say about it. Bailey might be 
regressing that statement from WWE.com after getting squashed by Piper Niven literally on the canvas moments ago. Bailey, somebody who has dealt with nagging injuries on and off for the last two years, has not seen a lot of repetitive competition inside of the ring. Says she is feeling at 100%, she told WWE.com, and now part of the Monday Night Raw brand, she is coming back to be at the top of the division all over again, something she once did. I'm sure Bailey is going to have her eyes in the triple threat match come King of the Ring when Liv Morgan and Bianca Belair challenge Rhea Ripley for the WWE Women's title. Nice dodge by Bailey moments ago as Piper Niven was trying to knock her off the top rope. Able to land on her feet and take down the bigger and stronger competitor. Will it be enough to get the three count here on Velocity? That is the question that is at hand. And thank you for joining us once again here on TikTok each and every Wednesday afternoon. We've seen some great action courtesy of Raw and SmackDown here on Velocity. And right now we're seeing Bailey getting her eye taken off the ball thanks to the antics of Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville at ringside. Trying to distract Bailey at worst momentarily. Piper and Evan unable to capitalize. Look at Bailey picking the ankles. And on creative pinfall, unfortunately, not even getting a one count that time. Sonya Deville, Chelsea Green, Piper Niven, three women who have been hanging around each other over the last several of weeks. On Monday Night Raw, and have really had each other's back. Not too many victories, I will say. I like to call them the Mean Girls Club. Certainly a bad attitude between the trio. Nonetheless, Piper Niven on the top, not where she wants to be. Bailey realizing she's got to do high risk, high reward, but Piper Niven off the counter with a huge power bomb. <clears throat> Bailey trying to pull some different tricks out of the hat, trying to figure out how to keep down Piper Niven. The reversal with the power bomb, and now a black hole slam by Niven. <clears throat> Bailey might have bit off more than she can chew in her return matchup here on Velocity tonight. Man, it could have been a game changer if Bailey hit that Frankensteiner. It looked like she was going for a moment to go, but the strength of Niven to catch her out of the air, hit that power bomb, the follow-up with the black hole slam. No way Bailey is feeling anywhere near 100% after those series of maneuvers. Bailey right now just trying to find a way to keep down Piper. Climb to the top once more. Will this work out for Bailey? It does. Nice cross body going directly into the cover. And unfortunately, again, unable to even get a one count. Piper Niven obviously coming in motivated tonight. We've seen her take a loss to Liv Morgan during Liv Morgan's WWE Women's Championship reign. And obviously some losses for Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville as well. So not a lot of luck in that trio trying to turn around tonight. Hence you see Chelsea Green unfortunately grabbing the boot of Bailey, causing yet another distraction in the middle of this great matchup on Velocity. I expect nothing less from that trio. Nonetheless, this Friday night on SmackDown, of course, the King of the Ring tournament continues. The Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre back in action for the first time since backlash in April as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the United States champion Ricochet in a first-round King of the Ring matchup. But the quarterfinals kick off next Monday night on Raw. CM Punk making his successful return this past Monday. He's going to go up against dirty Dominic Mysterio and a quarterfinal matchup in the King of the Ring Tournament. All that action to be seen over on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel where Bailey made her return this past Monday night. Bailey to belly. And she almost had Piper and Evan. Great strength, great endurance, great resilience shown by Bailey. Unfortunately, Piper Niven is still in this match. After a couple of not even one falls throughout this contest so far, got to feel a little bit better for Bailey that she was able to keep down Piper for a two, but not the three just yet. And look at Piper right back into this matchup. Dropping an elbow, Bailey crawling away to the corner. I don't think that's where she wants to be in the drop zone for a cannonball. Piper into the cover. Thanks for coming, Bailey. Maybe not. Don't count her out just yet. That was a close call there. I thought Bailey was done for it. There's a reversal. Piper may be in trouble. Rose play it. Bailey into the cover. Did she find the window of opportunity? 
She did, and she picks up a huge victory in her in-ring return, but debut on Velocity. I'll say a great matchup here, courtesy of the Royal Women's Division, a women's division that has been on fire as of late. That action bleeding here to TikTok. Bailey making a return this past Monday night, shocking the world as she stood down. The challengers for the women's title. Tonight, her in-ring return. It's a successful one. But as we approach the triple threat match at King of the Ring, where does Bailey lie in pursuit of the WWE Women's title? Thank you for joining us here on Velocity. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a Noah Nation Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of universe mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how universe mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more universe than ever before. On the 13th week of Velocity here on TikTok, two Monday Night Raw superstars come to a collision course as Baron Corbin meets the harbinger of doom carrying cross, issues that have been looming since the month of March when a loss at WrestleMania made the separation between these two men oh so much worse. For months on Monday Night Raw, they've been at each other's throats with common goals, but tonight they look to settle the score. It's Baron Corbin and Karrion Cross as we are live here on Velocity. Karrion Cross coming hot out of the gate to Baron Corbin. These two men, as we mentioned, the lead up to WrestleMania in March came together in a common issue against the brawling Bruce Karrion Cross really recruiting Baron Corbin alongside Joe Gacy for that six man tag team matchup back at the show of shows. And they came up short at WrestleMania against Sheamus and company. Karrion Cross really severed the ties with both men. And Baron Corbin really got in the crosshairs of Karrion Cross again, no pun intended. But both men shared a common interest in going after the Intercontinental Championship. Corbin put Karrion Cross through a table and vice versa. Of course, they met in the Triple Threat Tables matchup with Sami Zayn. Back at Vengeance a number of weeks ago, Sami Zayn retaining the Intercontinental title, Corbin eliminating Cross from the matchup on that night. Which of course only made matters worse between these two superstars. It was just two weeks ago on Monday Night Raw to carry across Baron Corbin's pass. Meant again, Baron Corbin coming up short to Braun Breaker. In the first round of the King of the Ring tournament, Karrion Cross deciding to try to pick the bones of Baron Corbin why he was down. Luckily for Corbin, Braun Breaker coming to his aid and getting Karrion Cross the hell out of there. But obviously, unsettled issues between these two Monday Night Raw superstars that they look to settle on your Wednesday edition of Velocity. Be sure to hit the like and follow here. What Velocity coming your way each and every Wednesday exclusively here on TikTok. As we are on the road to the King of the Ring event. Live Saturday night, June the 15th only, on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Aaron Corbin putting the brakes on at ringside. I don't think Kerry and Cross realized it. Better watch his back, because here comes a game Baron Corbin. Corbin's had some big victories since his Monday Night Raw return a couple of months ago. A pinfall victory over the Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. I'm sure this one might actually be that much sweeter if he can settle the issues with Karrion Cross on his own accord this afternoon. Karrion Cross obviously with different plans. Cross has been chasing championship gold on Monday Night Raw for the better part of the last year. We've seen him challenge for the Intercontinental title, the WWE Championship. There's been a lot of men who have gotten in Karrion Cross's way, but I'll tell you one thing that has really played Karrion Cross is when it's time to settle the score, when it's really time to put the pass behind them. Karrion Cross has been a little hot and cold in those big time matches. Credit where credit's due. You remember the steel cage victory against the Celtic Warrior Sheamus a few months back? Great momentum builder for Karrion Cross, but you can really play Baron Corbin as the man who ended that momentum back at Vengeance in the Triple Threat Tables. Nonetheless, Karrion Cross trying to eliminate Baron Corbin from competition tonight. 
And speaking of competition, we look ahead to Super SmackDown this Friday night in Mexico City. We're live at 5 p.m. Eastern time as the King of the Ring quarterfinals continue. Ilya Dragunov, the man dragon himself, set to go one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever against the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre. That's coming up live this Friday and this Monday night on Raw. Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins, they'll meet for the WWE Championship at King of the Ring, but this Monday is a pick your poison. Owens chooses Rollins' opponent, Rollins chooses Owens' opponent. It's coming your way this Monday night, only on Raw. And now Baron Corbin trying to send Karrion Cross into the corner to no avail. Karrion Cross, we've called him sinister at times. We have certainly called him destructive. He has played up to those nicknames, but tonight he just looks to be one thing, and that's the victor. Not if Baron Corbin's got anything to say about it. Corbin taking down Cross off the snake guys in the corner, very Undertaker-esque. As Baron Corbin looks to emulate the badass in his own several ways. Nice hangman's neck breaker taking down Karrion Cross. And you saw Scarlett, I think, scrape at the boot there, but it distracted Corbin from completely going for that pinfall. And Wicked Witch has certainly been known to play carrying across dividends when he needs it. And meanwhile, look at Corbin. This time, instead of putting the brakes on, comes right back in the ring with the Lariat. You gotta give credit where credit's due. Baron Corbin is really wallowing into obscurity around this time last year. Walked away from Monday Night Raw, took his talents down to NXT, really recalibrated himself, found the new, and then returned to the red brand just a few months ago. And although the tandem with Karrion Cross did not work out, Corbin has had some wishy-washy success and looks to go to the full extent with that success here tonight on Velocity. <laughs> Great talent from Baron Corbin as Cross looks to take him out with a gut wrench. Aaron Corbin off the reversal, off the hip toss. You see Scarlett, I think, at ringside, trying to take Corbin's eye off the ball, and it's gonna pay Cross dividends here. Picking the ankle, going for the ankle lock. Karrion Cross, a little bit of a jujitsu MMA background, loves to train it, even when he's on the road here in the WWE, and it's looking to aid him and tap it out, Baron Corbin tonight. Corbin with, obviously, the Height, the size advantage in this matchup, able to use those long legs to get Karrion Cross off of him. You gotta believe whoever wins this matchup is gonna be eyeing up some bigger opportunities on Monday Night Raw. Two men who are challenging for the Intercontinental Championship not even a complete month ago at this time. Baron Corbin, who just fell short in the King of the Ring tournament, huge chance to bounce back for him tonight. Karrion Cross just squashed him in the corner that time. Going for the pinfall. I believe the referee's back might have been turned, and that may have been due to Scarlett's own antics at ringside. Scarlett actually coming back to bite Baron Corbin. I should say bite Karrion Cross that time. Can't say it isn't deserving. The Wicked Witch and the Sinister Destroyer himself known to get their hands dirty when they need to. Nonetheless, Karrion Cross continuing to keep the momentum here on Velocity. Big boots to the side of the cranium of Baron Corbin. Corbin down, but is Corbin out? That is the question that is at hand as Karrion Cross exacts some offense. This is the cross, or I should say, this is the pace that Karrion Cross loves to implore. Slow, methodical, just beating down his opponent. As he comes off the top, which is uncharacteristic, but delivers that knee right to the dome. Cross obviously desperate for victory tonight, but so is the man that opposes him. Aaron Corbin able to get the shoulder up off that knee, but how much is left as Karrion Cross trying to mount? Corbin saying no, back and forth as these two men start to jock for position. Corbin into the corner, another reversal that time. Corbin fighting to survive, goes for the elevated lariat. Nobody home. Cross with the lasers locked on Baron Corbin. There's another reversal that time, but Karrion Cross might have finally caught him. Could be going for that F10 inside of the squared circle. Back and forth. The pendulum momentum swung, but it's Karrion Cross getting the final blow. Here's your winner, Karrion.
Well, Bear and Corbin gave him a fight, but unfortunately, the bad luck for Corbin on Monday Night Raw continues. Kerry and Cross wanted this victory bad, and he got exactly what he wanted this Wednesday afternoon here on TikTok, live here on Velocity. This week on Velocity, issues from the blue brand bleed into the green as Carmelo Hayes set to go one-on-one -on -one with one half of the New Day, that being Xavier Woods. The New Day knocked off the Trick Mellow Gang in tag team action several weeks ago on Friday Night SmackDown. Carmelo Hayes has not forgotten. As a man who is eyeing up a United States Championship opportunity, Mello looking to do anything he can to put himself back in the championship conversations. We thank you for joining us here on TikTok. Be sure to hit the like and most importantly, follow. Velocity coming your way each and every Wednesday afternoon as Xavier Woods are gonna steal this one early against Carmelo Hayes. Trick Mello gang in the New Day's past really crossing. And Kofi Kingston answered an open challenge from the human highlight reel Ricochet for the United States Championship about a month ago on SmackDown. Ricochet, of course, victori victorious in a very competitive and respectable battle. But after the matchup, Carmelo Hayes ambushing Ricochet, cracking him in the back, laying him out from behind. Obviously, the New Day looking to do one good by one of their friends, one of their compadres in the United States Champion, Ricochet, challenged the Trick Mellow Gang to a tag team matchup. Kofi pinning Trick Williams just a few weeks ago on SmackDown. Carmelo Hayes has been eyeing up the United States Championship opportunity ever since he fell short in his last opportunity, which took place on May the 4th at Battleground. Carmelo Hayes certainly made some waves since getting drafted over to Friday Night SmackDown back in the month of April. Took on Roman Reigns in his debut night on Friday Night SmackDown. Challenged Ricochet previously, as we mentioned, but unfortunately for him, came up short. If Xavier Woods has his way, Carmelo Hayes may be coming up short yet again. Beautiful Tornado DDT into the ring. Could be another upset as the New Day looking to go two for two against the Trick Mellow Gang, this time in singles action, unfortunately for Woods. Three count not to be that time. I'm sure the United States Champion Ricochet has got his eyes on this matchup. Although he is friends with the New Day, you gotta believe Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods, one or the other, love an opportunity at the United States Championship. Issues between these two duos really spreading over those similar interests. You gotta believe whoever wins this matchup could be one step closer to challenging the human highlight reel on SmackDown. First 48 by Melo. And he almost had this one. Unfortunately, Xavier Woods getting the shoulder up. Melo Hayes needing to go to the well with what works. One of the best maneuvers in his arsenal. Unfortunately, not enough to keep Xavier Woods down. And now Woods starting a roll with an E to the back of the Chrome Dome. That's one way to get back into this matchup. Nearly knock your opponent's lights out. Now here's Xavier Woods with some steam behind that forearm. Just like that. Just when you thought Xavier Woods was out of this matchup, he has turned the tables. Carmelo Hayes may be seeing stars off the combination of maneuvers. Only a one count that time, but certainly some damage done. And the man they call him. Carmelo Hayes says he does not miss. Put up or shut up here tonight against Xavier Woods. If you want my accord, a nice missile drop kick that time. Melo Hayes, all the talent in the world. Had a bit of an up and down first year on the main roster over on Monday Night Raw. Challenged Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental Championship. Back in the early part of April, losing effort. And then was sent over to Friday Night SmackDown in the draft and has been eyeing up Ricochet's United States Championship ever since. Melo, a superstar that many people here in WWE are looking at to be a future main event player, but he's got to get the W's where it counts. That is what has eluded him thus far throughout his main roster career. Back and forth we start to go between Melo and Woods, and great strength being shown here. Sunset flip by Carmelo Hayes. 
And Woods off the counter. Another pinfall that time. Woods and Mello jockeying for position. It looks like Xavier Woods going to be the man to take firm control. But Xavier Woods wasting too much time. Carmelo Hayes. Up and around he goes. One step closer to a victory. Not just yet. Of course, we are on the road to King of the Ring live this Saturday night over on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. The a live premiere event at 5 p.m. Eastern time to determine who will wear the crown. The 2024 King of the Ring championships to be decided. It is going to be a great night in New Orleans live this Saturday. Do not miss it over on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. And Xavier Woods certainly didn't miss that time. Mello in trouble as he gets cradled up by Woods. Oh, and how close was that? Mello just at the last second able to pop the shoulder off the canvas. And creating a little bit of much needed separation that time and just leveling Xavier Woods off the clothesline. Mello Hayes may be feeling a sense of urgency. Xavier Woods has dished out some of his best offense throughout this matchup this Wednesday afternoon on Velocity. Woods down and out off the scoop of the slam. Mello keeping it simple that time. Looking for the victory. Not just yet. And both these men have had some near falls throughout this contest. Both men nearing the finish line. But who is going to cross it first? Xavier Woods looking a little bit worse for wear off that simple scoop slam. Carmelo Hayes going back to the basics here. And again, scoop and a slam. Xavier Woods down and out. And now Mello's going to the top. And when Mello shoots, Mello doesn't miss. That's a slam dunk if I ever saw one. And a big time victory for H.I.M. Carmelo Hayes. You may not like the attitude of the Trick Mellow gang, but Carmelo Hayes getting back on track tonight. Trick Williams may have taken the pinfall loss, got them into this predicament in the first place, but Carmelo Hayes brings it back around. A huge victory for Mello this Wednesday afternoon on Velocity. We'll see you this Saturday night in New Orleans, Louisiana at the King of the Ring. It is yet another exciting week of action right here on Velocity. This week, courtesy of Friday Night SmackDown and the Cruiserweight division, Angel Garza set to go one-on-one -on -one with the big strong boy, Tyler Bay. I want to thank you for joining us each and every Wednesday here on TikTok only on Velocity. Be sure to hit the follow and leave a like. Do not miss a second of the action each and every Wednesday as we kick things off. Angel Garza and Tyler Bate locking horns this Wednesday afternoon. Just as we mentioned, courtesy of Friday Night SmackDown, especially the cruiserweight division where these two men have competed several times in the past. Of course, we saw this past Friday night, JD McDonough retaining his cruiserweight title against Wesley in a grueling war of attrition in the main event on Friday Night SmackDown. You gotta believe now that Wesley 
has unfortunately fallen short in his pursuit of not only payback against J.D. McDonough, but also his pursuit of the Cruiserweight Championship. Number one contendership may be wide open. And a huge opportunity for one of these two men to step up in that contention. Tyler Bates had his own issues with J.D. McDonough. Those two men fought previously here on Velocity back in the month of April. Tyler Bate, we're gonna get back to the top of the line as he sends Angel Garza to the outside in the early moments of this matchup. The big strong boy, not only with strength within him, but also with the ability to soar through the skies, a tope suicida to the outside. Tyler Bate revving up the engines in the early going, truly personifying velocity. Talking about Tyler Bate's previous issues with J.D. McDonough really all stemmed from a matchup that Bate had with Ilya Dragunov dating all the way back to the month of April on Friday Night SmackDown. And J.D. McDonough interrupting that matchup on that night, costing Tyler Bate the victory. He had disqualification. Tyler Bates had a couple of ups and downs on SmackDown. Fell short to Wes Lee a number of weeks ago, but big strong boy looking to get back not only in the winning ways, but maybe in the crosshairs of the Irish Devil J.D. McDonough. Hip thrust right to the corner. Angel Garza getting the kick out this time. Angel Garza very familiar with Wes Lee as well. Just a number of weeks ago here on Velocity. A great contest between Lee and Garza. Angel coming up short in that matchup. Could be looking to turn things around here tonight. And of course, the X-Factor ringside, Humberto Carrillo watching over the shoulder of Angel Garza. And Tyler Bate, obviously not right now. Angel is in firm control, but Bate's got to be careful and keep his eye on Humberto at ringside. Beautiful acai moonsault by Angel. Only a one count that time. Tyler Bate is somebody who has been on the cusp of great things, whether it was over on Raw or ever since being drafted to Friday Night SmackDown. The man was almost Intercontinental Champion several times, part of his time on the red brand last year. Hell, even owned a pinfall victory over Seth freaking Rollins during his reign as WWE Champion. Tyler Bate now here on SmackDown, competing tonight on Velocity. Just looking to get things going. Nice reversal that time, and a big time clothesline by the big, strong boy. And a head scissors take down. This is what Velocity is all about. High competition between two of the best that Friday Night SmackDown has to offer between the ropes. Garza hoisted to the top. Tyler Bates wheels are a spinning, and the bodies might be following. This is where Tyler Bate has earned the nickname of the Big Strong Boy! Hesitation Superplex. Tyler Bate going for the cover. Will that be enough? Not just yet. We want to turn your attention to what was announced just this afternoon, this coming Friday on SmackDown, a star-sudded gauntlet matchup where they're moving on to challenge Gunther for the World Heavyweight Championship at Money in the Bank. That is this Friday night on SmackDown, plus this coming Monday on Raw. Money in the Bank qualifiers begin. The Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn with a tall task as he goes up against Dijak. Of course, from the women's spot as well, Tiffany Stratton signed to go one-on-one -on -one with Bianca Belair in another Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. Opportunities are rising here in WWE, and Angel and Tyler Bate looking to create their own here tonight on Velocity. Big time dive for the top. And Bate getting the shoulder off. And great contest on both sides of the ring so far. Tyler Bate dodging a second attempt at that Isai Moonsault. Angel go to the well too many times for the familiar maneuver. Go for the schoolboy. Not to be found, Angel Garza now with the pinfall. Tyler Bate with the wherewithal and the strength to pop the shoulder off the canvas. Angel Garza just trying to keep momentum firm in his grasp. Tyler Bate showing a sign of life off that schoolboy moments ago. Angel not allowing Tyler Bate to gain control from it. A little wheelbarrow action, and Tyler just eats the canvas for Wednesday evening dinner. Garza, as well as Carrillo at ringside. These two men, all the talent in the world to 
fly around this ring, but they can get down and dirty and straight up gritty when they need to. Tyler Bate not amused with Angel's pursuit of victory tonight. Tyler with his own intentions. Angel going for an amusement park ride. A tilt to whirl. Around and around we go. Talked about Tyler Bate eating Wednesday dinner early. Angel Garza may be seeing his lunch very soon. And Bate into the cover. And Angel still in this contest. Man, we have got a good one here on Velocity as we approach our next live premiere event. Just mere weeks away from heading across the pond to London, England. What is going to be an extraordinary 2024 Money in the Bank. It's coming your way Saturday night, July the 13th, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Cannot wait to get to the United Kingdom. And right now, Angel Gors is probably wishing he was anywhere but the Velocity Arena. Tyler Bate starting to stack the offense with variations. Suplex is a huge exploder in the corner. Looking to explode the muscles, the internal organs of Angel Gors off that maneuver. There's a counter and another reversal. Angel thought he caught Tyler. Tyler quick as a wit. Able to turn his own momentum and knock Garza down the size. Tyler's throwing a lot of offense at Angel, however. Does he have anything left? A different card to play. They're trying to keep Angel Garza down tonight. Tyler soaring to the top. Angel Garza looking up at the lights and Tyler Bate delivering a knee right to the chest cavity. There's exposed kneecaps of Tyler Bate. Coming in to persevere. Unfortunately, Angel Garza still in this contest. These two men traveling to deep waters here on Velocity. The 10 minute time limit for each and every Velocity contest may be reaching an expiration point. Angel looking to hurry up and get a victory here, but Tyler Bates still in this contest. Springboard, down he goes. Another hurry up pinfall. And Tyler still with the strength to get Angel off of him. Man, this is some great action as these two men look to bounce back, look to get back in winning ways. Tyler Bate going low. Tyler Bate off the school boy. Looks like it's going to be a rope break that time. Angel Garza. Not having his wherewithal, just trying to create some distance. Get a little R&R &R on the outside of the ring. But meanwhile, on the other side, Humberto playing an X-Factor, distracting Tyler Bate, allowing Angel Garza to rest and recuperate. Tyler Bate's got to try to shake off this distraction, cannot allow Humberto to gain control for Angel in this match. A backstabber right to Tyler Bate. And that could be the difference maker. We are reaching expiration time here on Velocity. These two men got about 30 seconds to try to hustle up. Angel crash and burn in the corner. Tyler now from behind. Third schoolboy attempt. Any means necessary to get the victory. Tyler Bates secures it this Wednesday afternoon. A born burner from the cruiserweight division. Thank you for joining us here on Velocity. An opportunity to make their way to London, England on Saturday night, July the 13th, hangs in the balance. The shiniest wizard, Tegan Knox, one on one with the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. The stakes couldn't be any higher. It is a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup right here on Velocity. Welcome back to Velocity. We are here each and every Wednesday only on TikTok. Be sure to hit the like and follow. Velocity coming your way each and every Wednesday only on the Noation Gaming TikTok channel. And here we go. Money in the Bank qualifier kicking off courtesy of these two Friday Night Smackdown superstars. As we know, the Money in the Bank event coming your way Saturday night, July the 13th. Live at 5 p.m. Eastern time for the O2 Arena in London, England. 
Already qualified for the women's Money in the Bank ladder match coming this past Monday night on Raw. The Buff Barbie, Tiffany Stratton, the first to punch their ticket for that international event. Count out victory over Bianca Belair, but a win is a win. Tiffany Stratton going to be one of six superstars for that golden opportunity coming up on the 13th of July. The second participant will be determined before our very eyes. Shayna Baszler, former Women's World Champion, former WWE Women's Champion, somebody who dominated, whether it was over on Raw or part of Friday Night SmackDown over the last year and change in the WWE. Of course, that championship reign came to an end back on May the 4th to the current Women's World Champion, Raquel Rodriguez. Baszler returning to action just a few weeks ago on SmackDown, and now looks to punch her ticket to Money in the Bank in London, England. And sure, Tegan Knox, all the way from Cardiff, Wales, would love to make her trip overseas and have a huge opportunity, damn near the biggest she has gotten since her WWE return a couple of months ago. All remains to be seen, only one woman punch their ticket to Money in the Bank. We're gonna find out who that's gonna be as Velocity rolls forward. Of course, this Friday night on SmackDown, the genius of the sky, EO Sky, says to take on the LWO Zelina Vega in a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup this Monday night at the Great American Bash edition of Raw. You'll see Chelsea Green going up against a mystery opponent. Another Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. Right now, Shayna Baszler just trying to grapple down Tegan Knox, wrestle her style of matchup, take this audience out of it, and just pick apart the shiniest wizard on this Wednesday evening on Velocity. Shayna Baszler, long characteristic here, head to the top rope. Tegan Knox better watch her surroundings. Baszler coming off the top with a damn near superwoman punch. That could have just shut down Knox's chances of qualifying. But Tegan still in this matchup, but you gotta believe the strength and power delivered off that maneuver from the top rope by the Queen of Spades took a lot out of Tegan Knox's arsenal here tonight. Nonetheless, Shayna Baszler gonna press forward. Tegan Knox, somebody who had a great matchup with Io Sky last month on SmackDown in the midst of that Women's World Championship Eliminator. Of course, Io Sky inevitably went on to challenge Raquel Rodriguez a few weeks back at the King of the Ring, only to come up short. Both women looking to now take the next step in their Money in the Bank desires. However, for Tegan Knox, Shayna Baszler might have just ended those pursuits. Beat down on the outside of the ring. Now sending the damn near lifeless body of the shiniest wizard back inside the ring, but never counter out. Deacon Knox, somebody who spent over a year on the shelf here in WWE with numerous knee injuries. Looking to come back in a blades of glory over the last few months. Ups and downs along the way, but Tegan Knox always will to fight. Now Knox with a big time Saito suplex. Of course coming this Friday night on SmackDown, the King of the Ring tournament winner returns to Atlanta, Georgia, his hometown, one-on-one -on -one with the Cruiserweight Champion, J.D. McDonough. And then live this Monday night at the Great American Bash edition of Raw, Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan look to finally close their book in a last woman standing matchup for the WWE Women's Championship. That is coming up live at 5 p.m. Eastern time this coming Monday on the Great American Bash edition of Raw. Tegan Knox, choke slam on Shayna Baszler to qualify for money in the bank, not just yet. Shayna Baszler still alive here on Velocity. Knox has got to keep her foot on the gas pedal. Shayna Baszler sidesteps whatever Knox had in mind. And Knox went right into that exposed turnbuckle that I believe Zoe Stark is responsible for. And almost handed the victory of a silver platter. Luckily for Tegan Knox, still a little bit of fight left in her. Zoe Stark, that X Factor that is looming around ringside tonight that Knox has got to try to withstand. But Shayna Baszler may not be giving Knox any more breathing room in this contest. Kara Fuda clutch, locked in tight. And Tegan Knox 
tapping out, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. And Shayna Baszler on her way to the O2 Arena in London, England, Saturday night, July the 13th at Money in the Bank. This former women's world champion, Shayna Baszler, back to unleash hell. And she has qualified for the Money in the Bank ladder matchup, joining Tiffany Stratton. Who else will join the field over the next couple of weeks on the way to Saturday night, July the 13th, at Money in the Bank. And this week, cruiserweight action courtesy of Friday Night Smackdown. The big strong boy, Tyler Bate, picked up a victory over Angel Garza two weeks ago here on TikTok. But can he turn away a very hungry and motivated Wesley? I want to thank you for joining us here on the No Nation Gaming TikTok channel. Be sure to hit the like and follow if you haven't already. Velocity coming your way each and every Wednesday only here on TikTok. And let's get things going. Tyler Bate, Wesley, two men who have targeted the Cruiserweight champion J.D. McDonough one way or another on the road of towards in recent months on SmackDown. Just last week on Friday night, we saw J.D. McDonough in the main event against the King of the Ring winner, Cody Rhodes. And McDonough may have been regretting challenging Cody Rhodes to that King of the Ring rematch. At one point, tried to flee away up the stage, but the big strong boy Tyler Bate was there the proverbial guard the ramp and make sure J.D. McDonough wasn't going anywhere for the matchup he challenged Cody Rhodes to to begin with. Tyler's had his own issues with J.D. McDonough here and there over the last few months and Wesley certainly has got a lot of history with our current Cruiserweight Champion of the World. Just a few weeks ago, Wesley battled McDonough in the main event on Friday Night SmackDown. Extraordinary contest for that very Cruiserweight title. An unfortunate defeat for Wesley on that night. Now back in action here on Velocity and a chance to try to regain some momentum on Friday Night SmackDown and of course in the Cruiserweight division. I am sure that is the mindset of both of these individuals here tonight as Tyler Bay outruns Wesley there. And that is why they call him the big strong boy. Suplex out of the ring to the outside. Tyler Bay clearly has got a game plan that he is looking to implore this Wednesday afternoon. Into the cover here on Wesley. Lee not seeing too much momentum in the early going of this matchup. Nonetheless, gonna have to try to find a way to take down what has been a very game Tyler Bate. The thing about this matchup is these two men no strangers to each other. About a month ago on Friday Night SmackDown that Wesley did pick up the victory over Tyler Bate. One of the matchups that helped him proclaim number one contendership for the Cruiserweight Championship just a few weeks ago. I'm sure that is in the back of Tyler Bates' mind tonight, looking to bounce back from the last time he was in the squared circle with Wesley. As it is in the mind of Wesley tonight, could be a big confidence booster for the man who came up short in his pursuit of the gold just, to se just several weeks ago, excuse us. Wesley starting to build some momentum in this matchup here. Going behind on Tyler Bate. I don't think he got a hold. Tyler Bate just getting tripped up that time. Nonetheless, Lee go to the top. Could be looking for that corkscrew early. That is the maneuver that put Tyler Bate away last month on SmackDown. Bate obviously did his homework. 
Not looking to see the same result this Wednesday afternoon. Shooting star pressed into the cover. Wesley popping the shoulder off the canvas. A great wherewithal by a former NXT United Kingdom champion. Just two weeks ago here on Velocity, exclusively on TikTok, Tyler Bate, man who's become very familiar with this Wednesday afternoon action, picked up a victory over Angel Garza in an extraordinary contest. We're gonna keep that momentum at a high if he can turn away Wes Lee tonight. You gotta believe the Cruiserweight Champion JD McDonough has got his eyes on this matchup, knowing Wes Lee, I am sure, is itching for another go around with the man who put him on the shelf back in the month of March. And then of course, Tyler Bate. Somebody who was in the crosshairs of the Irish Devil himself just last week on SmackDown. All remains to be seen who is going to get their hand raised high tonight. It's been an awesome week of action already here in the WWE. Monday Night Raw this past week with night one of the Great American Bash featuring Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan in a brutal last woman standing contest. Of course, the Great American Bash going to continue this Friday night on SmackDown. In Philadelphia, with the United States Championship on the line, Ricochet defending the gold against Carmelo Hayes. A long time coming. Those two men are running it back. What about what's to come this Monday night on Raw? The Money in the Bank main event could be altered as Kevin Owens defends the WWE title against Finn Balor just days before one of these men will challenge CM Punk for the WWE Championship at Money in the Bank Saturday night, July 13th. So much action this week, the week of Independence Day here in the United States, and coming up next week with Money in the Bank looming in the distance. But right now on Velocity, Wesley scale on the ropes, looking for a frog splash, nobody home again. Those high-risk maneuvers not paying Wesley dividends today. And now Tyler Bate, around and around we go. Looking to unscrew a couple of screws out of the mind of Wesley. Days confused and certainly will alter his game plan. Tyler Bate might take out himself in the process, but as long as he takes out Wesley and secures a victory, I don't think you'll hear a complaint. Into the cover goes Tyler Bate. Elbows had him, but Wesley is still alive here on Velocity. Great contest between these two cruiserweight stars so far. Springboard, a little bit of a stutter action. Lightning quick, explosive off the springboard, but now it's Tyler Bate who still feels his heart pumping. These two men personify what Velocity is all about. High octane offense, exciting action each and every Wednesday here on TikTok. Back and forth we start to go between the ever-explosive Wesley and the big strong boy Tyler Bate. As Tyler once again creates a little bit of distance, sending Wesley into the corner, Lee collapsing under his own weight. Tyler Bate, fueled and fired up here, kick to the gut, could be going for a little Tyler Driver, 97! And a huge victory for the big strong boy! Getting that win back over Wesley from last month on SmackDown. Add that on top of the win over Angel Garza two weeks ago. Look out for Tyler, J.D. McDonough. Tyler Bate. I am sure Tyler Bate has got his eyes on the shot of the Cruiserweight Championship. All remains to be seen what happens on Friday Night SmackDown. Thank you for joining us here on Velocity. Be sure to hit the follow as we are here each and every Wednesday only on TikTok. We're back here on TikTok for another exciting week of Velocity. And for the first time, tag team action takes center stage on Velocity. This week, courtesy of Monday Night Raw. Cedric Alexander teaming up alongside Ashante the Adonis to take on Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa of DIY. Should be one hell of a tag team matchup this week on Velocity. We want to thank you for joining us. Be sure to hit the like and follow here on the No Nation Gaming TikTok if you haven't already. Of course, there is more action over on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel each and every week. Mondays for Raw, Fridays for SmackDown, Money in the Bank this Saturday night. 
I want to encourage you to head over to the YouTube channel, not only hit subscribe, but also become a No Nation Gaming channel member. This is going to give you access to monthly house shows in universe that are going to kick off Saturday night, August the 10th on the road to SummerSlam, behind the scenes exclusives and so much more. Head over to the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel, become a channel member to receive just that much more universe here in the WWE. But nonetheless, we are here on TikTok this week. It's Masto Champa and Cedric Alexander who have waged war in the past, crossing paths again in the midst of this tag team battle. DIY have got to be motivated coming into this matchup tonight. The last time we saw them in action over on Raw, a losing effort to Bubba Ray and Devon of the Dudley Boys. Which of course is a number one contenders matchup. DIY coming that close from an opportunity to take on the Judgment Day for the World Tag Team titles. Twas not to be. And now Gargano and Ciampa back in the ring tonight on the first tag team matchup here on Velocity. And we're going to regain some momentum. Not going to get any momentum on their side if... Things go that way, Gargano crashing and burning off the sidestep. And Cedric Alexander to the Saito. Only a one count that time, but you gotta believe some major damage has been done on the whole shebang. And Cedric Alexander and Ashanti the Adonis teaming up for the first time tonight. Good friends behind the curtain looking to bring that partnership into the squared circle. Let's see if it's gonna work out for him this week on Velocity against a team that is highly experienced between the ropes in Gargano and Ciampa. Former NXT Tag Team Champions, World Tag Team Champions as well. Dating back to the early part of 2023. Gargano with Ciampa looking to get on the right track, but I'll tell you, if Cedric Alexander keeps this up, it is gonna be a sour night here on Velocity for DIY. Cedric Alexander, all the tools to be a success. It's been quite some time since he's seen success on Monday Night Raw, but it was this time last year throughout the summer that Alexander was really making some noise on Monday Night Raws within inches multiple times on becoming the Intercontinental Champion. See if Alexander alongside Ashanti the Adonis can change their luck tonight. Ashanti into the ring, better keep his eyes on Johnny Gargano. Tag made to Tommaso Ciampa, never want to start mouthing off to a man as pissed off as Tommaso Ciampa. They don't say the, they don't call him, I should say, the black heart for nothing. Look at the power and the speed. Ashante is going to be seeing stars. Two count that time, almost a three. Rod Zapata calling for the rope break as Ashante reaching out, saved by the ropes in the midst of tag team combat. Also, Champa and Johnny Gargano, veterans of the squared circle, cardio machines, success individually and as a team. Ever since they have reunited on Monday Night Raw over the last few months, they've been steering a little bit of a rocky ship. Some victories, some losses, but Gargano and Champa ultimately need to rake up the W's if they want to get their ultimate goal of becoming the World Tag Team Champions again. All remains to be seen if DIY will be able to climb the mountain of success. Cedric Alexander and Ashante looking to play spoiler. Here on Velocity, great maneuver by Alexander. Cedric and Ashante looking pretty sharp so far in this tag team matchup. Of course, we'll be live this Saturday night over the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. It is the 2024 Money in the Bank. Emanating from the O2 Arena in London, England. Cannot wait to get to the United Kingdom this Saturday. The WWE Championship going to be on the line as Kevin Owens defends against the second city saint, CM Punk. WWE Women's title on the line as well as the Nightmare Rhea Ripley puts the gold on the line against somebody who has been red hot here on Velocity and on Raw, that being Bailey. Some bad blood in the cruiserweight division looking to be settled on SmackDown. J.D. McDonough putting the gold on the line against the big strong boy, Tyler Bate. Speaking of bad blood, taking it back to the red brand. What about L.A. Knight and Dijak? Those two men brawling all around MVP Arena in Albany this past Monday. Something's got to give on Saturday. What about the World Heavyweight Championship matchup from Friday night? SmackDown, Guther defending his gold against the Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov. All that, and of course, two Money in the Bank ladder matches, which participants still to be determined this Friday night on SmackDown. Well, that is then, this is now, and right now we are on Velocity on TikTok. Cedric Alexander did not get all of that maneuver a few moments ago, but got enough to send Tommaso Ciampa a wire. 
And the last back inside the squared circle, DIY has got to find a way back into this matchup. Alexander and Ashante have gotten in their own way a couple of times. Mouth it off to DIY in the corner is not going to get them anywhere near close to success. It is only giving Champ and Gargano some moments of R&R. &R. Exploding out of the corner with that lariat. And Cedric Alexander going to feel the wrath of the Blackheart. Maso Champo, former Intercontinental Champion, former World Tag Team Champion, NXT Champion. DIY looking to regain success on Raw, and they can get back on the right track tonight. Tommaso Champa mowing over anybody in his way. Down goes Ashante at ringside, and Cedric Alexander's looking dazed in between those lime green ropes. Oh! Into the cover goes Champa. Not just yet, Cedric Alexander still alive. Credit where it's due. Alexander trying to hang in there, but Tommaso Champa is fired up at the current moment. Going for the kick. Tommaso had it scouted. Goes behind. Cedric Alexander may be in trouble. Dead center of the ring. Down he goes. My goodness. Brutal Project Champa. Ashante gonna break things up and not allow a three count just yet. Project Champa, Cedric Alexander's gonna be feeling that one on Thursday morning. Tag made to Johnny Gargano. Alexander in trouble. Meet in the middle. The whole shebang into the cover. Johnny Gargano secures victory for DIY. Tag team action, courtesy of Monday Night Raw, taking center stage for the very first time here on Velocity. And what an exciting bout it was. Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa on their way back to the top of the tag team division. Here are your winners, Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano, D I Velocity coming your way each and every Wednesday, only here on TikTok. Be sure to hit the like and follow. Thank you for joining us here on Velocity. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a Nomination Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of Universe Mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how Universe Mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member and get your front row seat to more Universe than ever before. Well, hot off the heels of our trip to London, England, we are back here on Velocity exclusively each and every Wednesday, only on the No Nation Gaming TikTok channel. This week, women's division action courtesy of Friday Night SmackDown as the prodigy Roxanne Perez, who just qualified for Money in the Bank last Friday, but was unable to take down the briefcase on Saturday, looks to get back in the win column against Nikki Cross here this afternoon. Nikki Cross, a very unpredictable, dangerous superstar inside of their ring. Her track record says one word, and that is chaos. Roxanne Perez has got to keep her head on a swivel tonight as she meets this very unpredictable superstar here on Velocity. As we mentioned, Roxanne Perez hot off the heels of the victory of the ballsy badass Shotzi last Friday night in London, England. Able to qualify for the Money in the Bank ladder matchup just 24 hours later. Unfortunately for Perez, capturing that briefcase was not to be. To the victors went the spoils, and the victor was Monday Night Raw's generation of Cora Jade. Somebody Roxanne Perez knows very well. Friends, enemies, friends again, but nonetheless, Roxanne Perez just got to focus on Nikki Cross here this afternoon. We are hot off the heels from the successful Money in the Bank weekend in London, England, across the pro across the pond, excuse me, replays for all events, including SmackDown last Friday, Monday Night Raw this past Monday, and of course, Money in the Bank, available now over on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. So much news coming out of this past weekend, new champions crowned, of course, as we mentioned, Cora Jade 
the new Money in the Bank contract holder. As for the men's side, the badass Braun Breaker taking down the men's Money in the Bank briefcase. Both of those individuals with future championship matches on the horizon. Any time, any place they so determine over the next 12 months. Right now, Roxanne Perez got to keep her eye on the ball. Nikki Cross dropping her with a simple yet effective neck breaker. Nikki Cross hasn't seen action a little bit on Friday Night SmackDown, but here tonight, here this afternoon, I shall say, on Velocity, she is looking to make the most of this in-ring competition. Of course, as we found out this past Saturday, more opportunities continuing to rise for the women's division as Nikki Cross tope suicide to the outside. Of course, we are on the road to SummerSlam, but we'll be making a pit stop in Minneapolis on the 3rd of August for Saturday night's main event, big live premiere event, which of course will feature brand new women's tag team champions being crowned. Those championships temporarily put on the shelf last fall. Back in action, new champions will be crowned Saturday night, August the 3rd at Saturday night's main event. Huge opportunity there for the women's division. Of course, the queen of the ring still looming. A turn making a kickoff after SummerSlam and lead us into a massive live, live premiere event. Saturday night, September the 21st in Madison Square Garden. Mickey Cross and Roxanne Perez would both love to be in those conversations with all those opportunities on the horizon. Victories is where you start to get those opportunities. And Nikki Cross off the headbutt moments ago. I think she just caught enough to get herself one step closer to said victory. Perez has got to get back into this matchup as the unhinged and chaotic Nikki Cross starts to build momentum here this afternoon on Velocity. Sure to hit the like and follow. Velocity coming your way each and every Wednesday exclusively on the No Nation Gaming TikTok channel. Roxanne Perez off the reversal. Cross may be in trouble. Impaler DDT by the Prodigy. Referee Chad Patton right there. Nikki Cross getting the shoulder up. Close but no cigar for Roxanne Perez. Perez got to keep her foot on the gas pedal. Split the difference when it came to her contest in London, England last week. We're going to get back in the winning ways here tonight. Nikki Cross taking down off the head scissors. Perez has got her foot on the gas pedal as we mentioned. Sustained momentum. Sometimes hard to come by with such an unpredictable opponent. But Perez has got to do all she can to stay the aggressor in this matchup. Dropping the axe hammer off the middle buckle. Roxanne Perez, a former NXT Women's Champion, former NXT Women's Tag Team Champion with Cora Jade as well. Similar to Cora Jade, both of those women coming up to the main roster last year did not see too much success over their first 12 months, but both of them certainly starting to make some waves over the last few months. Cora Jade obviously over on Monday Night Raw with a huge win, possibly the biggest win of her career. This past Saturday, winning, winning the Money in the Bank contract. We can get it out. Roxanne Perez just trying to find her path where she belongs on Friday Night SmackDown. Nikki Cross trying to derail whatever Perez's mind may be. Of course, over on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel as well as we progress on the road to SummerSlam, we got the pit stop on August the 3rd in Minneapolis. There's going to be another pit stop Saturday night, August the 10th. A special WWE live event for No Nation Gaming channel members. Go ahead over to the YouTube channel, hit the join button, become a No Nation Gaming channel member, receive access to this exclusive WWE live event that is going to be loaded with SmackDown and Raw talent, including the new WWE Champion CM Punk and that woman right there, the Prodigy Rock Sam Perez signed to be in attendance. Also receive access to behind the scenes content and more, all by becoming a channel member over on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Meanwhile, Roxanne Perez, little snake guys moments ago. Pop rocks on Nikki Cross. And it's going to be a victory for Roxanne Perez. Perez picking up the victory against Shotzi last Friday night. Came up short in London at Money in the Bank. Bounces back this Wednesday afternoon. 
Opportunities come when you get the victories, and Roxanne Perez continuing to make noise a part of the SmackDown roster. What is next for the Prodigy? We continue to find out. Thank you for joining us on Velocity. We're back here for your 20th edition of Velocity, only on the No Nation Gaming TikTok. This week, Austin Theory accompanied by Grayson Waller as well as the Apex Predator Randy Orton approaches a battle with Montez Ford of the Street Profits. This one becoming very personal as of late, ever since Randy Orton sidelined Bobby Lashley two weeks ago on SmackDown. Montez Ford looking to get an ounce of revenge against Randy Orton's recent running buddy in Austin Theory. Interesting situation continues to develop as Austin Theory and Grayson Waller seemingly have been aligning themselves with Randy Orton as of late on SmackDown. We saw Austin Theory take on Bobby Lashley two weeks ago. Lashley wanted Orton Theory approach the ring instead, but it looked like it was all a game plan executed by the mastermind of Randy Orton. Randy Orton ambushing Bobby Lashley while his back was turned during that matchup, instituting a beatdown at ringside, which ended in an RKO on the concrete floor. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins have certainly befriended the Almighty in recent months as well. Stood alongside Lashley in his battle last month against Guther for the World Heavyweight Championship. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins now looking to, as we mentioned, get an ounce of revenge on behalf of Bobby Lashley. We'll see when Lashley is all oh, well and good to return, what he is going to do to try to get his hands on Randy Orton. But nonetheless, we are on the road to SummerSlam. We'll be making a pit stop in Minneapolis, Minnesota, live on Saturday night, August 3rd. Special Raw and SmackDown production of Saturday night's main event. You're not going to want to miss it. Meanwhile, Montez Ford getting caught inside cradle by Theory that time. And there's also some recent history between A-Town down under and the Street Profits as well. You go back to last month on SmackDown, four corners elimination matchup to determine the number one contenders for the WWE Tag Team titles. Things came down to the Street Profits versus Austin Theory. One of the many different equations that matchup could have ended up in, and it was Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins putting away Austin Theory in the closing moments of that matchup to go on and challenge LWO for the Tag Team titles at the Great American Bash. I am sure that stung A-Town down under on that night. Now they're coming into this matchup with their own sense of revenge on their mind. What the hell could Randy Orton been up to as of late? Why is he seemingly recruited A-Town down under to be on his side? You know, Theory and Orton, no strangers to each other. You go back to 2022, Austin Theory's first year here on the main roster, and even sometimes last year, they have teamed up, they have gone toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It's never really been a great relationship between Theory and Randy Orton. But whatever history that was not favoring them, they've obviously buried the hatchet. And now in the recent months where Theory and Waller have been trying to get back the tag team titles, it looks like aligning themselves with the mastermind and the voices that are inside Randy Orton's head may be their best option. Can't say I agree with it, but so far it has obviously worked out. Randy Orton got what he wanted a few weeks ago in London. He put Bobby Lashley on the shelf. That was just two weeks removed from that ambush on the SummerSlam host, the great one, The Rock. And we talked about Randy Orton's intentions last week on SmackDown. Randy Orton is out to remind the WWE Universe just how dangerous he is. Talked about the WWE locker room trying to remind them just how dangerous he can still be. And I'm sure it's a part of Randy Orton who somebody I was chasing the World Heavyweight Championship several times last year. I'm sure there's a part of Orton who is looking to get back in contention for the gold and starting to mow over talent on SmackDown by the side of A-Town Down Under just might do that. Meanwhile, the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, Cody Rhodes, set to battle the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre, this Friday night on SmackDown, some bad blood there. Plus, this Monday night, live in Chicago on Raw, the WWE Champion CM Punk returns home for a return matchup against Big Bronson Reed. So much action on hand here in the WWE. We're, of course, on the road to SummerSlam Saturday night, August 17th. 
Cody Rhodes set the challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship against the Ring General Guther. And as announced on social media earlier today, CM Punk will defend his WWE Championship in a Money in the Bank rematch against Kevin Owens. And you notice right there the actions of Randy Orton and Grayson Waller paying Austin Theory dividends as two corners of the ring are exposed and Montez Ford met the cold hearted steel. You gotta commend the Street Profits up against some numbers tonight, but taking the fight nonetheless. Montez Ford, Austin Theory, one-on-one, -on -one, two great young talents here in the WWE, both with their personal vendettas to try to issue and try to settle here tonight. Theory brought back inside the ring. Montez Ford feeling froggy. Beautiful cross body delivered like a frog splash into the ring. And Austin Theory still into this matchup. Austin Theory debuted on the main roster two years ago. In just a few months became one of the youngest WWE champions of all time. Only held it for about a month and change, but was champion nonetheless. Montez Ford looking to prove himself against a former champion here in the WWE. Charles Robinson right there to call for the three count, but unfortunately three is not to be. Just a few months ago as well, that A-Town Down Under was your WWE Tag Team Champions on Friday Night SmackDown. I am sure both of these teams won another crack at the LWO. Oh, wait a minute here. Montez Ford starting to pick up steam. and You see the Aussie icon, Grayson Waller, waving his hands, screaming at Montez Ford at ringside, trying to get that momentary distraction. It comes back to haunt him. Austin Theory laying out Montez Ford. Whatever Randy Orton sold to Theory and Waller, they certainly were buying. Austin Theory aided Randy Orton in that assault a few weeks ago, and now Orton and Waller aiding Theory tonight. Theory dropping Montez Ford, and it looks like some of those underhanded tactics may be coming back to bite Austin Theory right now. Charles Robinson's back's turned as he's trying to fix up the exposed steel. Oh, be careful what you wish for. Karma's a real thing, and it might have just came back to bite A-Town down under as well as the Apex Predator. Montez Ford starting to come alive. Knocking down Theory momentarily, and now it's Randy Orton. Trying to flare, flare his arms and get Montez Ford eye off the ball. Austin Theory looking to take the most advantage. Oh, no. Face first off the canvas. The numbers, too much for any man to handle. Here is your winner, Austin Theory. Randy Orton clearly gave A-Town down under one hell of a sell. And this trio may be ready to take SmackDown by storm. Thank you for joining us on Velocity. Be sure to hit the follow. We're here each and every Wednesday only on TikTok. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way, exclusively, each and every Wednesday, only on the No Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all-time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code. Follow on TikTok and don't miss a second of Velocity.